one that's got a pretty extensive uh, app marketplace. Uh, and mm. there was a question wondering if there were any that you would recommend that would help in like a, a CRM style workflow. So the idea of using apps in the Monday.com CRM uh, section, uh, people are sort of confused and they look at the CRM section as like this completely different part of Monday and you can't really, you know, the, the never the twain shall mix. Um, but that's not true. You can use all the apps that you're using in work management in the CRM uh, functionality in the CRM setting as well. Two that I'd like to really highlight um, are an, a, a, a much higher level of functionality when it comes to monday.com. Um, and they're, they're probably quite well known by, by a few people. The first one I'd like to touch over is auto ID. Because in monday.com, you have an auto numbers column. Um, the auto numbers column is actually really good. It allows us to see what each uh, number is of a particular deal. We can put a prefix on it if we want to. This can be used for quotes. We saw a lot of people use this for quotes. Uh, deal. There we go. People can use this for quotes. The issue with this is, is that it respects the uh, hierarchy of the items in monday.com. So if I move Louis up one, he changes from deal 008 to 0007. I'm moving back down, he changes to eight again. The auto numbering is just for reference on the board, but it doesn't give you like a, a, a number that you can then use to search for or work on. It's just a it's just an automated auto number field. There is an app by uh, someone that we actually work very closely with, a team we work very closely with called uh, the Excellent Team, and it's called Auto ID. And this is one we use very, very often, and it sees a lot of use in uh, the monday.com sales CRM place. Auto ID column, what it allows you to do is it allows you to generate an auto ID number. And what I can try and do actually very quickly, see if I can see it in here. Uh, we should have it here. There we go. What I can do is I can uh, create, and when a new deal is created, I can create a new number. When light was created, generate an auto ID number starting from number one using this formula deal as zero is it? Oh, zero. Oh, hyphen. Go zero, zero, zero. Minimum number of digits. I don't even need those zeros. I'm being wrong there. There we go. And this column, uh, let me actually put it in a numbers column, which we will actually change to a text column instead. And we'll call it deal number. There we go. Deal ID, that'll be deal ID, perfect. So with this app, what it'll allow me to do, it is in integrations, it will allow me to assign a number that I've given the particular formatting that will then throw into that column for me and it will remain as I move it. I'll quickly write this in now. That's the wrong one, Alex. You've gone to the wrong app. Let's try again. There we go. ID plus uh, plus. When an item is created, we want this format deal hyphen. Start with number one. Minimum number of digits is four. And we want to put it in the deal ID. Perfect. So a new new deal has just come in. Oh, give it a sec. Oh, forgive us, guys. I think what I haven't done is updated the app. But let me have a look in the actual app marketplace itself so we can actually have a look at this working in motion. Auto ID. There we go. So the idea is that what happens is that you can put in different variables and how it works. It will create a new auto ID for you as you create a new item. For instance, you put in a new invoice and it will generate that number and that's a text column. So as you move it, it won't change. You know, you can delete it and change it if need be, but it just generates the new um, ID for you. So that's auto ID and how it can work with like quote numbers, deal numbers and what have you. And it just takes the effort out of having to generate that yourself. Auto ID can do it for you. The second app I wanna to quickly touch on is DocuGen. People might be uh, quite familiar with DocuGen. What you can actually do in monday.com is that you have a quotes and invoices system where you can create a new quote if you want, and you can name the document. Lovely job. But description, I can put in the company name and what have you, and I can fill in these fields 
from what monday.com has and then create and generate a quote and I can put in my company logo and it's very good, but it doesn't allow you to use a document template. What we can actually do with um, the application of uh, DocuGen is we can put in our own quote document and we can generate a quote from that. And we see a lot of people doing this to quote, uh, create quotes, create invoices, uh, create uh, bespoke pamphlets and what have you. It allows full functionality of Word that you can then build into uh, monday.com via a template and placeholders, which will then generate a document. This, this person here, uh, this demonstration is they are generating an NDA. So they're clicking a button to generate an NDA. It's creating a PDF. And what it's doing is it's taking information from the board. Let's go back and grab that bit. It's taking information from the board. So Universal Containers, which was the company name, Universal Containers Inc. It's using today's date. It's filling that out and it's building that into that template that you've built from the uh, columns within monday.com. DocuGen is super, super powerful. It allows you to email out to clients as well that can then be fed into emails and activities so you can see when quotes went out. You can fully automate your sales process within monday.com with the help of a few handy-dandy apps. The native, uh, the native um, sort of functionality is there within Sales CRM, but we always recommend that extra functionality when it comes to what you can do um, with Monday Sales CRM in collaboration with some of the apps that some brilliant monday.com developers have indeed made.